フルカウンターはい、boys、welcome back to the Grand Cross video. Today, we're going to run through all the Archangel Graces and go over which is the best one to use right now in PvP. Obviously, some disclaimers. Because we are putting these guys in the association, you really want to have them a 6 6 because, well, you're going to lose some basic stats here. To be fair, I think 4 6 and above you can get away with because it's only 2%. But for someone like my uh, Saru, who's already at the bottom down here, losing 5% basic stats might not be worth it. So definitely use the carrots that have been leveled up and obviously the ones that have high dupe levels. But if you have them all 6-6, six, six, despite what I'm about to say afterwards, you might as well use them. It's better than using a normal character, so you might as well take it. So we're going to run through all of them in order of release when it came out and I also go through at least the first main three because, well, in about three days time, you can pick what archangel you do want out of the three original. And uh, honestly, like I said, go to the one that's closer to 6-6. But if you want my recommendation, probably Tamiel. Well, yeah, probably Tamiel, but we'll run through that in the video. All right, so what I'm going to do now is go into PvP and go over... It's the character useful right now. Now, bear in mind, they are very situational, apart from this one right here. But, you know, the meta is always changing and you never know what can happen. Because right now, Celadicia is probably the worst one because, well, no one's stunning or freezing. So, when we do move into meta again with Rezio, when we get the relics, for example, when they do return, then Leducio is definitely going to see a rise. All right, so let's run through all of them in order. So, let's start with Leducio. But, lads, before we do start, if you guys are new, then do subscribe. Around 70% of you lot watching right now aren't subscribed. I know it's annoying to say, but I got a set of words people want to subscribe. And also, probably for not uploading yesterday i went and watched uh jujutsu kaisen zero the movie banging movie by the way but uh, i got back around 12 o'clock and the game went to maintenance so i couldn't even record i had to wait three hours and at that point it was 3 a.m so uh yeah apologies for that one all right so honestly it's very meta dependent but right now we are using the Ducio, the og one which does give us a two stun uh evade to petrify freeze and uh was a stun and as you can see right here boys not really getting much use out of it. So I will say the DC is probably the worst one. I'm not too sure I can showcase it because uh, honestly, I'm not too sure if anyone's using the Elizabeth right now. The only two characters right now that's usable in the meta that you would do this is literally what? Emilia, which no one's using anymore. And also, um, yeah, Elizabeth. And to be fair, I've only found one Elizabeth out of like, 20, out of like 40 games. So um, it's, it's very, very rare, man. And not to mention, it only lasts two turns. So to be fair, you could literally... um. I mean, okay, in this situation right now, it actually would be better to bring uh, uh, with Estros in the sub slot because uh, then the stun would last two turns. And uh, yeah, Diana is dead, so once again, that Leducia Grace is not really useful. Uh, I'll play a few games while recording this video and I'll tell you if I find any stun characters to tell you if it's worth using because I don't, I don't think he's worth using. But if that's your only character 6 6, then to be fair, you might as well because the one chance you find someone who stuns, you, you can pick. But if you have the choice between the other four, then uh, yeah, don't pick his. Okay, well, I found a stun character, so, uh, yeah, have a Leduc... Now, what should be a bot, though? What should be a bot? Yeah, it is a bot, so that doesn't really count, though, but there's, there's like, what, two Elizabeth now? Like, 40 games, so... All right, so he's a real player. He did start first, and right now, we're going to showcase both Tamiel, which is the heal one from, uh, the... What's it? This one right here, and also Sario, the OG one, which is, uh, more crit damage, basically, or you ignore the crit defense, so you do more damage, but, uh, you'll see right now... Okay, I did the wrong stuff there. But you see right now, when he starts targeting my Matrona, how much I'm going to heal. Now, I will say, though, the reason why I like this combo is because... I just ranked him Gopher. The reason why I like this combo is because Matrona's actual recovery with her passive is quite insane, which you will see right now when um, they start attacking her, which is going to be really, really good. But Meli does have Sarah's Grace, which means we um, do more damage on a crit. We know the crit defense, but it's hard to showcase because you're just doing crit. But we'll basically just do more damage. Okay, Gopher's gone. So far, we can crit, though. Okay, too fair. Probably a good thing I didn't rank up my uh, melee because uh, I would have got disabled. All right, so let's see if we can crit all here. Like I said, it's a passive only works if we crit. So essentially, right there is useless because we did not crit all. Do you see what I mean? Like, Sario, even though I'm a melee, he crits quite often. If we don't crit, we're doing less damage. See, okay, we did crit two on Escanor, so maybe I should attack him. But if I attacked him, then he would have got um melee's cards. Okay, so they're attacking my Matrona, and you'll see right now how much I do heal. It's too fair, it's quite insane, but she's like 1 HP. There we go. We didn't die, and we're like 1 HP! What? Look at it, look, look, bro, 1 HP literally, and boom. Full health! See what I mean? Because we increase our defense related stats, it's insane. Okay, let me do this. But you see how insane it is? Like, I'm telling you, like, Tamiyo's grace is perfect on characters that have defense related stats up because um, they heal so much. And then we're not creating the melee, but we're doing more damage a little bit with the crit. So, uh, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Like, Tamiyo and um, 
Tommy on like tank character. I mean, to be fair, even if you're using something like, you know, uh, the new Festival with Yan, if she dies, it's an L. So you still want to put it on. But the characters who benefit a lot from uh, the passive or the grace is definitely uh, these characters. But I'm sure if you played the bird, you would have seen the damage she does actually recover. But uh, even, even in PvP, it's, it's still quite fun to use. Okay, I think we should crit. So we see a damage increase. It's what's going to be. Can't tell with a crit. Look at that, that crit damage. Wow. You can't tell because it's not like we can crit. It's not like I can crit without the Sario Grace on. So it's going to be quite confusing to show. But Sario is still really good, but only when you crit. So only certain characters can use it because you can't really put it on Terry. Terry doesn't really crit. Okay, so hope we find someone with a buff here because I'm trying to show against Margaret, but it's not really working. And. Oh, Margaret. No, this is good. This is good. This is good. Okay, this is actually kind of nice because. um. For every buff that's on the enemy, then you get your you get your actual uh, damage increase, which you want to get here. So we also got Sario, by the way, the, the female one. So every time you use a Gopher skill, we're going to lower the crit chance, which too bad you can't cleanse. So it's um not the greatest, but you're not really fan of Team Margaret. So you see right now, whenever I use a Gopher skill, we are going to um one get I think nine debuffs on here. So and I have Zelda as a subslot, by the way. So we're getting base stats here. So this is actually really, really good right now. Sario and Zelda as a subslot might be better than Kyo because they're kind of move. They're trying to move away from Kyo, but hopefully he can buff up here and get more buffs here, so I can just go crazy with King. Okay, there we go. And uh, the reason why I gave the Grace to King and not someone like Trey and Melly or the one, for example, is because the way I think it works, like I mentioned, was what the skill checks if you're attacking AOE. If it's AOE, then you're taking the actual buffs or stances from the people you're attacking. So if I attack right now, I'm gonna get 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 extra attack, right? But if it was on like film like Marga, for example, and I attack Lordy Merlin, I'm only gonna get 10 minutes attack because it's not taken from these two because it's only single target. I believe that's how it works. So uh, honestly, what I'll do, we'll then buff even more up. So I'll just move this. Oh, I did the wrong way, but we still have two cards, so it doesn't really matter. I did that completely wrong, but we'll take it. Okay, he's attacking with Merlin. Merlin, to be fair, can wreck my, he might be able to kill. Murder can wreck my, um, my Matrona because of resistance. Okay, he didn't get any damage or buffs that time, I think. Yeah, a little unfortunate, but I'm pretty sure I killed his whole team here, so it's uh, no worries. So we're going to get what? Is it your yeah, first extra attack? So at least it's somewhat helpful here. But when you're not versing buffers, like if you verse the typical teams you find, which is the one melee and also um, go far, you're not getting the buff really apart from attacking a uh, melee. So it's, um, yeah, not too great. But here, it worked out quite well. So we got an extra 5% extra attack. Which is basically like a little Sigurd buff. So we'll take it. And also lowering the crit chance a little bit helped out there. But you can see if you're bringing the Zeldris and also um, Sario combo. So the Grace, it's a lot easier because you don't have to bring Kyo. And way more free to play because then you're not requ you don't have to have Kyo maxed out. You can literally put Sario or the new Sario on any character you're using. Typically a support character who uses skills every single turn like go for. And you're going to get that max pass to work perfect. Just not at the start of the turn basically. And you're also not getting damage reduction. So it's, it's, you know, it is what it is. But if you take a look right now at the actual meta teams right now that people are using. You're only going to get the buff from Melee. So it's not really worth bringing Margaret if you had the choice to bring other characters. But to be fair, Margaret is definitely better than Ludo, so you might as well bring her anyway if you have the team maxed out. This team's got some buffs and a stance, but I think the, the damage reduction from this team's crazy. But if you know it's something, by the way, they're all using Tamiyo, like I said, really, really good, and also Sario. But none of them are using um the actual other Sario, because there's no point critting. You'd rather have this one on to get the Zelda's buffs. And I think these guys are definitely going for CC rather than... um. The graces. So yeah, here's my tier list on the screen. As you can see, the go-to people are definitely Tamiyo and the new Sario. Because you can't really go wrong. It's going to be nice to get some heals. The Sario is just perfect. There's no real restriction. Literally, doesn't matter. Sario obviously has to crit, which is why he's an A tier. So if the character doesn't crit, even if he's a crit character, you could still sometimes not have it proc. Margaret is... Still really good and usable, but unless you find someone buffing up and you have on an AoE character, then that's when you're going to get full benefit of the actual buff. And then Ludo is... um. Yeah, it's um not the greatest. You know, we're stunning right now. If you do, then if it's if it's Elizabeth, right, it might take him a few turns, especially the team we just saw, because they have no rank up, so they may not stun for two or three turns. And by then, the buff might be gone. Emilia, when she returns, when we get the Rezero collab. That's when it might be a bit better, and we might see more Ludo graces. But until then, there's no point using them. If you have him, might as well. But you might want to go for more CC. So yeah, boys, that is all for today. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, let me know which ones you guys are using. I think I really want to get a Sario, man. I hope the um added to the tickets sometime soon because I have a lot of save right here and I really want to get him 6-6 six, six, or her 6-6 six, six, because that grace is way too good man it's way too good so yeah boys thank you for watching and uh, peace